Two years ago, a historic $98 million settlement required the city to ensure equal opportunity for minority firefighters. But today, a group of fire department employees is taking to the steps of City Hall saying discrimination continues. And the only way that we can stop it is to make our voices known, to put the full weight, force and effect of the law behind it. The group announced they were filing a federal lawsuit fighting what they called institutional racism that was still not addressed. The recent settlement focused on uniformed firefighters and not the support staff. There was never any review or look into the systemic and institutional racism within that civilian ranks. Frances Dempsey said she was paid around $30,000 a year less than white male counterparts hired years after her for the same title position. I'd like to see things change so that other employees that are coming after me who work hard and who like the city and who like the fire department who like to do good work be adequately compensated and recognized for the work that they do. The fire department today did not respond to requests for comment on the civilian group's planned lawsuit. Attorney Greg Smith says he hopes an agreement can be reached with the city for systemic change to end discrimination in the fire department. What equitable relief can, can we design that will help make uh, employment fairer, more equitable, more inclusive across racial lines and across gender lines? Reporting for Currents from City Hall, I'm Conrad Aderer.